Thank you, my heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. A louder, amen. We continue in our session of prayer. I read from the same Isaiah chapter 6, verse 2. And after two days, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. With a ladder for you, can we say, my father, my God. You are the promoter and the lifter of men. Under these three days, raise me and all participants, all from every low state and level. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice unto the lifter and promoter of men. And have the Almighty God under these three days. Raise me and all participants, all from every low state and level in the name of Jesus. No one will be at low state again. After three days, Father, you are the lifter and promoter of men. Lift every participant of this fasting and prayer. All from every low state and level in the name of Jesus. Hela to shata. He prato zika toshi alia ragadosia. Ili to shanto li pradazia. Hila katagadadash. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, now we pray. The same as Ash after six, verse two. You are going to shout with all your voice and say, My Father, my Father, we ask that all of us, worshippers and participants of three, these three days' event, shall begin to do well and shine brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, we ask that all of us, worshippers and participants, of these three days, even shall begin to do well and shine brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto the Almighty God, both online and online. Father, we ask that we all, participants and worshippers of these three days, man, shall begin to do well and shine brighter, brighter in the name of Jesus. Declare unto heaven, these three days, even I shall begin to shine brighter brighter i shall begin to do well in all areas i shall begin to do well in my business in health and vitality physically spiritually mentally i shall begin to do well whatsoever i lay my hands on shall begin to shine brighter thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray finally Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 Come and let us return unto the Lord. For he has turned, and he will lead us. He has smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. Even in the third day, he will raise us up. And, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow unto know the Lord, he is going forth, he is prepared as the morning, and it shall come unto us as the rain, as the letter, and former rain unto the head with a ladder for a child, my father, my father, my father, my God. You are the God of three days. Show up for me in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto heaven and declare, Father, you are God of three days. You are the God of three days. In this three day fasting and prayer, Father, show up for me. Show up for everything I represent. Show up for my family. Show up for my ministry. Show up for my children. Show up for my business. Everything I represent. Father, under the three days, show up. Show up for me. Hayakato Shata. Eliariagatosa. Likato Shatalia. After these three days, after this season, I shall have testimony. I shall have something to say. I had a counter with God of three days. Thank you, righteous Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. A bigger amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We can please have our seat. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. It is time for testimonies. The Lord that is always doing it has done it again. And some of our brethren have returned to give God all the glory. I'm calling Sister Adetola Adedibu for a testimony. And Sister Grace Godwin, please make your way forward quickly. Let's celebrate Jesus the doer as they made their way forward. Hallelujah. Good evening, church. My name is Sister Aditola. 
I want to give glory to God. In um, 2018, I, my passport was stolen and I had my, um, my valid visas in, in it. And of course, I had my US visas and other other countries in it. So I went back to the embassy to um, report the issue and open that they would issue me another visa, but I was refused and um, I really felt bad. In 2019, COVID came and um, no one could be able to travel or book appointment or anything. So um, just recently, to the glory of God, I got an appointment with the embassy. The, the appointment was canceled. I met with daddy and I told daddy about it. I got, I got another appointment and okay, I told daddy and daddy said the door of USB opened again. And to God be the glory, I went for the interview and I was granted my five years visa. Thank you, Jesus. My second testimony is I want to thank God for the life of my mom. It's really been a roller coaster of health issues and all of that. I want to thank daddy and mommy for us for always praying with us and to God be the glory. She had a major surgery and to God be the glory, she's fine now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Every embargo is lifted in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, my, Grace Godwin. I'll take her testimony for her. She's so excited because she came with a bundle load of testimonies, actually. Number one, she has, in fact, you can see the excitement in her, in fact. I had to tell her some of the testimonies, she will come back for them later. We can't take everything today. But the ones we'll take today. She said, number one, my daughter that had never spoken a word for 14 years started speaking during a crusade held by this church at Dakidu. Number two, since 2021 that she started coming to GCIC, she that had never received gifts before, she started receiving gifts in worth hundreds of thousands since she started coming to GCIC. She never used to receive gifts, but since she started coming here, she started receiving gifts. And then, number three, her daughter suffered from one affliction that has killed two people in her family in recent times. She stepped on something and... It was like a scratch on her leg. So the girl just said she was not mine, just said it was something that happened in school. But the thing now started swelling up. And it started swelling, and then at the point in time, the thing now had four different mouths on the leg. And she now started applying anointing oil from this altar. As she was doing that, the wound, the, the thing now burst, and it became a very big wound. So she now said, that, that is her same daughter that started speaking. You know. She now said, okay, let's come to church. And she was bringing her to church because the girl could not walk with the leg and everything. She said by, as she was by the entrance, daddy was giving a word from the altar that that your daughter that you are afraid of, a mother is afraid of that affliction of her daughter, that she will not die from it, that the affliction has gone back to send her. And she said, after that word, after the service, she went to see daddy again. Daddy prayed for the daughter and the wound dried up completely after completely. Number four, there is a son that has been looking for admission. They have tried everything. In verse of Abuja, they have done everything they could do. They were at a point said some people were asking for money or whatever and whatever, and they now started pressing another university. To the glory of God, yesterday during the service, Daddy said they will call you. You receive a message. And today, eh? Today, she received a message. The son's admission letter has been sent. She received that message by 4.30 p.m. today. Meanwhile, the son also got admission to the ABU they have been trying. So the son now has two admission letters for two universities. To him alone, be all the glory. All the others will come later. Father, we give you all the praise for the lorry load of testimonies. 
the testimony established enemy will not withdraw it it is perfected more testimony in jesus name i have seen the lord's goodness his mercies and compassion i have seen the lord's goodness hallelujah praise the lord i have seen the lord's goodness his mercies and compassion i have seen the lord's goodness oh hallelujah praise i have seen the lord his mercies and compassion i have seen the lord
will show forth your beauty. Lift your hands. I will sing of your praises. I will show forth your glory. Yeah. If I dance, it will be no. Jesus, if I sing, it will be no. If I dance, it will be no. If I jump, it will be no. You are the great and mighty God. Everybody say, Pray to the Beautiful cross is to You are the joy. You are the joy. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly. marching forward. Your business is marching forward. Your career is marching forward. In every area of your life, you must march forward. Go ahead and give him praise. Somebody go ahead and worship the Lord. Exalt Him. Give Him all the praise. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. 
We give you all the honor. Ashala da 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 dosha. Ilaya na 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 dosha. Eya na 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 dosha. Ilaya ya ya da da dosha. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Ashala da 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 dosha. Ila da da dosha. Ilaya na 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 dosha. E a la 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 dosa, e la ya na na dosa, e la ya na 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 dosa, e a na 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 dosa. Thank you, Father. In my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Oh my queen. Does testy of my soul, rain of heaven, rain of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it, Lord, and make me. Say, Father, within these three days, fill my life to the overflow. Fill my life to the overflow. No emptiness. Fill me, O oh God. Fill my cup. Fill my spiritual life. Fill my finances. Fill my career. Oh, just fill me up. Just fill me up. Just fill me up. Just fill me up. Fill my cup, Lord. Fill my emptiness. Fill my emptiness. You are the only cup that never run dry. Your presence is heaven to me. Your Just fill my cup, Jesus. Jesus. 
talking to God, Lord, fill me. Fill me to the overflow. Your presence is everything to me. I don't want to start the month empty of you. All I need is you. All I need is you. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is everything to me. All I need is you. I hunger and thirst for you in the dry and thirsty land. All I want is more of you. All I want is all of you. I hunger and I thirst for you in a dry and thirsty land. Everything I want is just you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, say, Lord, within these three days, visit me like never before. Within these three days, visit me. Be intentional. Be intentional. Don't, don't just live your life anyhow. Be intentional. Be intentional. Whatever you do, do it with all your mind. Within this three days, you see the way they were reading out the testimony of a woman and just rolling it out. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry dusty land. All I want is you, is you. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and thirsty land. In a 
city in the land it will not know your house and my God and your God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute the chain of the spirit are understood from the angle of the spirit passionately 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 come out of your body. Let your spirit take the lead. Jagalagadagadagadagadosha. Errata. Elekaparata. Eshaladadadosha. Epariata. Eshalagadagadosha. Errata. Eshaladadadadosha. Eshagalagadagadagadosha. Elepariata. Eshaladadadosha, eketeketosha, ariagalagadagadosha, eriakanagadosha, ariadagadagadagadosha, eleverada, eshegeregeregeresh, ariagalagadash, eleparata, eleperoto, elemaruta, eleperena, elemurata, elevirina, eleurosa, elevenosa. Ele marosa, e que ta nossa, li procotosa, le pregedesha, iliatato, a pariata, a salagados, e perrato, eliata, e chagadosha, a rosa, e que tasha, e Jesus, my chinem we pray, gripa women. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of prayer and please be seated. You are welcome to the month of March 2024. This is the month you will march forward. Let's take note very quickly that we serve the God of three days. In Genesis chapter 30, verse 36, the destiny of Jacob was turned around after 20 years of being cheated, humiliated, downgraded, and demoted. Three days' journey between him and Laban opened up his destiny. <laughs> we serve the God of three days. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 18, Exodus 3, verse 18, Exodus 5, Verse 3, Exodus 8, verse 27. 430 years bondage got broken within three days. They only need three days to be free from Pharaoh. They only need three days to be free from Pharaoh. No matter the bondage you are going through, it won't need more than these three days. Three days, destiny of Jacob opened up. Three days. The destiny of Israel opened up. They were delivered from bondage. These three days shall answer for you. Exodus chapter 15 verse 22. Exodus 15, 22 to 25. Within the three days, water came from test. They've been testing for three days. But it took them three days. Do you know within these three days, God can sort out the issue of your supplies. <laughs> Divine supply. That you will never know scarcity all your life again. Just camping around God for three days. But people are too busy to sort out their destiny. Busy doing nothing. Busy more than control tower. But at the end of the day, nothing to show for it. He said it's only in vain to go out early and come back late and eat the bread of sorrow. You will not eat the bread of sorrow this year. People just like to run around. Without making a run. Instead of camping with God and sort out their issues. Numbers chapter 10 verse 20, 33. Numbers 10, 23. 
It took them three days to find a resting place. Within these three days, you shall find a resting place. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. Genesis chapter 40, verse 12. Genesis 40, verse 12. Within three days, prophecy can find fulfillment. He <laughs> said, within three days, this dream shall find fulfillment. Shall find fulfillment. It's just three days. He's a God of three days. You know, within three days, your darkness can be over. Exodus chapter 10, verse 22 to 23. Your darkness can be over within three days. Your stagnation can be over within three days. Your frustration can be over within three days. How do you take advantage of three days? Number one, be intentional about it. Be intentional. These three days, I will give it all it takes so that it can give me all it contains. Be intentional. Be purposeful about it. Mark it in your calendar. Three days. How do you get sorted out within three days? Propose in your heart not to sin against God within three days. Sin breaks the, the flow. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. First one, propose. You must finish the three days. Number two, sanctify yourself. Purity. Even of the heart. In fact, it starts with the heart. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they are the ones that shall see the law. Let's start with the heart. Sanctification. Not sinning against him in my heart. Not sinning against him in my thought, in my touch, in my look. God will appear. Number three, be on the watch within the three days. Even when you are sleeping, you are on the watch. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Be on the watch. You are watching. You are watching. Mark 13, 37. When the Abuja special power touch was coming, all he said to me is, watch. That was Mark 13, 37. And what a joy. We saw what we saw that night. What I say unto you, I say unto her. What? Watch. He said, watch, watch. That was all he said to me. I was in the side, beside the stream when that word came. Half sleep, half awake, inside the sun, under the tree. He said, watch. They just opened that verse up. It was like a trance. Watch. Watch the drama of men. Watch. And as it began to unveil, I was not so surprised. Watch. So be on your watch within these three days. And for you to be on your watch, you must talk less. Talkativeness derives people of God's voice. If you can be silent for three days, you will hear what you have never heard. Do you know talkativeness leak the oil? There's nobody who carry oil who talk too much. They are talking is on the altar. When you meet them on a person or something, all you'll be hearing is where? It's all right. No challenge. But all this one, cha 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 You can hear. You can hear. These three days, you will hear the voice of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Now stand to your feet. Now pray it into your Lord. Lord, within these three days. Preaching has not finished, so I'm sure you know where this is introduction. Just telling you, stand up and pray for yourself. Lord, what I want to hear now, within these three days, <laughs> you get across to me. Get across to me. Get across to me. Get across to me. Let me hear from heaven. Let me hear directly from heaven. What will change my life? Let me hear directly from heaven. Let me hear directly. We are praying that for one minute. Let me hear. Lord, encounter me. I'm praying for encounter. Encounter me. Encounter me. That we turn my life around. Encounter me within these three days. Encounter me, O God. 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 Encounter me. 
encanta me, encanta me, encanta me. These three days, the destiny of Jacob opened up to another level. Father, open up my destiny to another level. I know I'm due for next. 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 I don't know which area, but I know I'm due for next. Lord, open me up for the next phase of my life, for the next level of my destiny. Jehovah, open me up. Open me up. Open me up. Let me have an encounter with you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Genesis chapter 12, 1 to 10. Now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, within these three days, let the Holy Ghost open every one of us up. No one will be left behind in the name of Jesus. Jesus was in the grave for three days, not forever. He resurrected on the third day in the name of Jesus. On the third day, starting from today, your resurrection has started. You will no longer be in the grave. Every destiny that is in the grave shall open up. Shall open up. Shall open up. Marital destiny shall open up. Career shall open up. Business shall open up. Health shall open up. Destiny shall open up. You will not be at the same level. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. This is our main text now. We read together 1 to 10. They are about. One to go. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse thee, and in this shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Aram. And Abraham took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the sword that they had gotten in Aram. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. And into the land of Canaan they came. And Abraham passed through the land unto the place of Shechem, unto the plain of Moriah. And the Canaanite was in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence unto a mountain, unto the east of the better, and pitched his tent, having better on the west, and I on the east. And there he builded an altar unto the Lord, and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abraham journeyed, going on still towards the, the south. And there was a famine in the land. And Abraham went down into Egypt to sojourn there. For the famine was grief-filled. Give us chapter 13, verse 1, and then we sit down. I, I've told the technical to remove this TV in front of me. The whole world is yearning now. One to go. And Abraham went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had. And Lord with him into salvation. And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. That will be your testimony. You shall be very rich in every currency of the world. In the name of Jesus, take your seat. Three days of a change of story. As we have seen just now, that it takes three days. A story of any mortal man to change according to the authority of the scripture. What 
at our purposes, objective for these three days. Number one, we trust God for a change of story for every participant. A change of story for better, for higher, for greater thing. Number two, within three days, that everybody will change level. Number three, within three days, that everybody will secure divine intervention for critical situation. I just received a testimony now. Um, one of um, uh, great people you know, from the presidency that they are, so I was in the wedding in December, you know, that their child had challenge, the wife of the child, of the son, they had a challenge, a critical challenge. They've been pregnant for a while now, um, attack, whether in the dream or whatever, and then the baby could not be found, and then they should say they should go and flush. But the guy said he will not flush. He's coming to GCIC. Now, they were here yesterday. They were part of the people that were laid hand upon. Yeah. The doctor, I mean, you know the kind of doctor that we have. Them. They've gone to everywhere. They said they should go and flush it. And there's nothing there. God will give them another child. Now, when the case of some dream were mentioned yesterday, I think their case was part of it. They were part of the people laid hand upon. I was just coming in now. I mean, he was calling me. I said, we don't pick up when we are going to the altar. Send it there. Sir, going to do this kind of game. You know, they came into the office also to see us after the program. The baby is alive six weeks, six something, six weeks, six days. The baby is now alive. The baby that was not alive that they have said they should flush. When you encounter God, he can change the story. He's the story changer. It does not take long. It does not take it, it, it's with the, the, both of them, it was the one that had a, both of them were being laid under. Yesterday, which service was that yesterday or was I sleeping? Was it in my dream? <laughs> Did we have service yesterday? Evening. What? Okay, Mount Zion. You know, this, it look, today looks like, uh, another, this is another man. Because I thought maybe I was sleeping. It was Mount Zion. Yes. Yes. The baby is alive six weeks, six days. Six weeks, six days. Six weeks, six days. You can imagine that destiny that will have been flushed out. There are some of us, we need divine intervention for critical situation. We need God to come to our aid. I need God to come to my aid. I need God. Because if you pray something in December and what they are telling you now, and you have anything doing with building, you will know you need God. <laughs> you can't stable the market, whether a bookie market or uh, any market. So within these three days, divine intervention will be secure. I can't hear your amen. Number five, there will be answer prayers. But since there will be miraculous. God is going to be opening strange doors for people. Every door that is closed against you is going to be opening up. Number seven, some of the Esthers will be appearing before the king very soon. I and the mighty will send for you by the reason of this fast. And whatever request you make shall be granted. Number nine, protocols shall be set aside. Condition of that, they will deserve this is policy, but to accommodate your miracle, he will set his aside. And finally, within these three days, there will be prosperity and austerity. So, the central theme is prosperity in austerity. Let's first of all know that farming, scarcity, and austerity is not new. To the earth. The first one happened in the time of Abraham, as we have read. Genesis chapter 12, verse 10. Abraham experienced farming. Farming is not new on the earth. Number two, 
We saw another farming in the time of Isaac. I like the technical to be very fast because I want you to pick up these verses. Genesis chapter 26, verse 1 to 3. Genesis 26, 1 to 3, verse 12 to 18. There was another farming in the time of Isaac. And Isaac wanted to go to Egypt like his father went. Please hear what God is saying. Oh. When there is farming like this, that's when you begin to see Jackpa syndrome. As soon as there was farming, what did Abraham do? He Jackpa. Farming is the reason behind Jackpa syndrome. Look at it. Look, look. Is there Genesis 12, 10? You, I just show you now. 10 to 12. As soon as was there, there was famine, what did Abraham do? I'm showing you something. So, you know, there are three major secrets God will be showing us. He will be showing us one today. He will be showing us another one tomorrow. And another one on the last day. If you grant these three, no matter the family that are hit the earth, you cannot be affected. That's the secret. That's the secret. For the family was grievous in that Abraham went to Egypt. The question you should ask is, who told them to go there? God he didn't send them all. He sent himself. And it was in Egypt he got Agai. And it was Agai that nearly ruined his destiny. Today, now, Agai gave birth to one child, Ismail. That Ismail is still smelling. There are people in Ostage now, somewhere in Gaza. If Abraham didn't have a guy, they would not be in Ostage. If you see the massacre that, that Al-Qaeda and all those things, it is farming that make people to go to Egypt. Nothing. Now, God now said, and there was a farming in the land beside the first farming that was in the time of Abraham. Isaac went to where? To Abimelech. The Philistine, Gera, then verse 2. And the Lord appeared to him. God will appear to you today. Sharing with you deep things. And said, go not down into Egypt. Dwell in this land. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee. Your green pasture is your place of direction. Your great pastor is inside the will of God. That's your great pastor. Right. Don't sleep now. Don't sleep now. This is what you need. That's what you need. You know somebody that's in you money. I know you're already feeling the form. I know you're on your way through Libya tonight. But hear this one. Hear the voice of this prophet. Hear the voice of this prophet now. So John in the land, I will be with thee, I will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy sea, I will give these countries. The country you want to go, I can give it to you. I will give this country. And I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. I know people are watching all the world. Wherever you are, if God send you there, that's your land. That's your land. So there was farming in the time of Abraham the time of Isaac, and then Jacob time. Jacob and Joseph time. This was a severe one. It was for seven years. Genesis 45. Genesis, for, Genesis 40, from Genesis 41 to Genesis 45. Psalm 105 verse 16. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He break the staff of bread. Genesis 45, verse 54 to 57. Genesis 41, 54 to 57. And the seven years of that began to come according to the word of Joseph. And there was famine in the land. And everywhere was dry up. Genesis 42, 1 to 3. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob sent to his son, do you know that what led the children of Israel 
to Egypt was famine. It was scarcity. That bondage that they enter, it was scarcity. It was scarcity. I met a man, he said, Ah, oh, sir, for 15 years, he couldn't see his family. And I was told him, He said, Sir, the job we do there, just in London, he said, The job we do there, we can't do it in Nigeria. Some of you thought they are picking pants on the street. It's true. It's true. But you don't know how to use people. The computer will be looking at you. Camera will be looking at you like the day, the one you sleep, they will deduct it. <laughs> you sleep, you know. He says, ah, ah. He says, he's heavy. I thought, I said, I thought they were people. He said, no. It doesn't happen like that. Every mean that is coming on this earth, your family will not be affected. Genesis 42, 1 to 2. Number 4, there was famine in the time of Naomi and Osman. Ruth chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. This one was a terrible one. It broke me. Let me read it to you. Are you still here? Now it came to pass in the days when judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man, a Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. Hear this. This woman lost her husband. This woman lost her two children. Her name was Naomi. Only to just in the time of austerity, just to move anyhow. It was a tragedy, verse 2 to 5. And eventually, where she left, she had the news that there was bread. There was bread. The time of King David. What number is that now? How many family have I traced? Eh? It's number five now, right? Second Samuel 21, 1 to 14. There was famine in David's time for three years. Year after year consecutively, <laughs> there was famine. And it was revealed that it was because Saul has broken the covenant. Hear this. When anybody breaks the covenant, there can be famine. When anybody break the covenant, there can be famine. When anybody break the covenant. Now, when I was looking for a job, I said, Lord, the first salary I receive, be careful the prayer you pray when you are in problem. The first salary I receive, I will give you everything. And then I got a job after after this was many, many years. And then I discovered that I was paying my time, but things are a little bit tight. So I said, Lord, what's happening? No, you say you give me the first salary. I say it's true. But before I receive the first salary, he let it come. You need to, you know, the ground is already full. You need to set to the gari owner. You need to set to the rice owner. You need to set to. <laughs> God said, I don't know about that. I know about covenant. I know about, I'm a covenant God. I'm not emotional. God is not emotional. No, he's not emotional. He doesn't even move by principle. Anything that is important to God, God will put it on a covenant basis. That's why marriage is put on a covenant. It's not that you wake up and say, I don't feel like liking this man. I don't love him again. It doesn't matter. That's the man you marry. Whether it's a wala or whatever, that's the man <laughs> you are going with that. that. It's a covenant. It's not, uh, I don't like it. Mm -mm. You can't just wake up. Then, no, I need somebody that the blood is cool now and cold. Yeah, yeah. That's the person you marry. Not, no way. When it's important, it must be on covenant basis. Saul broke the covenant and killed the people. Then there was famine. And then David asked, what shall we do? He said, give us all the children of Saul. And immediately that was done. The famine was lifted. Everyone that has broken covenant and it, you, it has brought you under a famine. May God show you mercy tonight. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. Number six, 
David, David made a mistake and he brought famine upon the land. First Chronicles chapter 21. So leaders can make a mistake. That's why you need to be praying for your father, for your husband, for people that make decisions over your life. Their decision or indecision can bring famine. God has said they should not count the children of Israel because they shall be like the sand of the seesaw. One day, the Bible said, devil will enter into David. Look at it. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked them. That's why you should be careful sometimes. By the time you say, I want to do this thing, I must do it. Maybe it's something that is provoking you. Satan provoked David to number Israel. <laughs> Joab came and said, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. God has said they should not number. He said, my friend, are you the leader or me? Joab advised him. Hundred times, the Lord make his people another time. He, Go and number them for me, Joe. Uh, and then why they were numbering people, family hit the land. David said, I have seen you. God said, it doesn't matter. Everybody will be hungry. Every negative decision that you have taken, that is now affecting your destiny, or anybody has taken on your behalf, and is affecting you, or any leader has taken on behalf of the nation, and is affecting the nation, may God show mercy tonight. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. First King chapter 17, verse 1 to 15, there was famine in the time of Elijah. Elijah's time, famine. First King 18, verse 1 to 46, there was famine in the time of Elijah. Then another famine in the time of Elijah. Now that famine was as a result of punishment. There was witchcraft, wizardry in the land. So there was famine. Elijah's time, Second King chapter 4, verse 38, there was famine. Second King chapter 4, verse 38 to 44, there was famine. Second King chapter 6, verse 25, there was famine for another seven years. Second King chapter 8, verse 1 to 7, there was famine for another seven years. As a result of God's anger, Second Kings chapter 25, verse 1 to 10, there was famine when uh, Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem. Nobody could go out for three and a half years. So all the food inside finished. There was famine. You saw when there was lockdown for COVID. You saw how people hit the road and they were breaking into things. When there is a besiege, people enter into famine. You are coming out. Acts chapter 11, 28 to 30. There was famine. And Matthew 24, verse 7. Jesus prophesied. In the last day, there will be famine. So, the first point tonight is, famine is not new to the heart. What's the secret of escaping it? Note that, if it is a divine agenda, you can't pray against it. It has to happen. What is the secret of escaping famine? I call it divine direction. Divine guidance. Divine direction. Divine guidance. Where you are led is where you are kept. Where you are led is where you are fed. Please, this is the time that everybody should hear what God is saying. The only way to come out of this scarcity, of this lack and want, is the voice of God. And I'll give you an example before I show you how to hear from God and then we pray tonight. That's why we are here. Is that okay with you? From tonight, every one of you will be hearing God clearly. Like a man hearing his television. Now, let me say this. I know um, because of laziness, indolence, and all that, we live at a time that Christians don't want to take responsibility to hear from God. This kind of message does not say. The one that says is, you prefer somebody to be doing it for you. But in this place, they build giants. Hello? 
Moses said, I wish that all the servants of the Lord are prophesying. Are you getting the point? So, every one of you, look, in the Old Testament, you, are, you can be led by the prophet. In the New Testament, you are to be led by the Holy Ghost. Prophet are to confirm for you. All this one that you write 21 names down. Prophet, help me to look at it. Kudi, Alabangokwe, Sadia. Which one should I marry? That's witchcraft. Are you hearing me? I love the way you are silent. Though. This message doesn't say. The one that said is, now, you have eaten some more yesterday. Your phone number. You have to hear what God is saying. The spirit is inside you. I'm going to be showing you in a moment. And you are coming out of that challenge. Can I hear your amen? How did Abraham escape the affliction? Genesis 12 verse 1. The Lord said to Abraham. The Lord said to Abraham. And by Genesis 13, 1, Genesis 13, 2, Abraham has be, become so rich. You will become so rich. Genesis 24, 1, he was so rich in everything. What about Isaac? Genesis 26, verse 2 and 3. The voice of God brought him out of famine. What you need this season is the voice of God. And that voice will come true to you. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. Everyone that escaped famine, they had God. They had God. First King chapter 17, Elijah. He had God. First King 17, 1 to 7. Elijah and the widow, they were not affected. You will not be affected. Elijah had God. The widow had Elijah. According to my word. And God said, I will send raven to come and feed you. Ah, when you are moving by the voice, even animals can be programmed to come and supply your needs. When you are moving by the voice. Now, when the brook cherry is dry, look at nature. Nature dry. God said, now I have provided me a widow. To meet your need. Hear this. Do you know that when you move by the voice, God can use the needy to meet your need? How do you make provision into the house of a widow? Widow is a needy person. And then, by the time Elijah show up, woman, please, can I have water? Because, you know, when God speaks to you, you need to apply wisdom. Because I have provided you. He got there. He didn't say, give me food. He said, no. Give me water. Water was even scarce. You know what the woman said? Okay, I will try. As the woman was going to obey the water, um, add uh, bread. I will go to eat. A loaf of bread. Add bread to eat. Everyone said, no, 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 no. In fact, the, the last one. The last one. But don't forget that the Bible says, I have commanded a widow. That widow has heard from God before that time. This is what I'm telling you. God only used the voice of your prophet to confirm what he has told you. A confirmation. In fact, sometimes when the prophet comes, it's like a rebook. Maybe God has been telling you something and you are not yielding. It just comes, it comes as a voice of rebook unto you. He says, as you are going, go, don't, don't turn back home, just go. go. The woman there, I don't want. But when the woman did it, she was living fat in the land. Your supply is in your direction. I, I, I've told you the story before. I was to publish a book many, many years back. This will be more than 10 years now. And I needed 120 to go. I think it was around March like this when we were to have a conference. We normally have conference in March. So, and the book was going to be published in the Bada and, uh, you know, moved down to Abuja. So this was Monday the conference was going to start, I think, on Wednesday or thereabout. We used to start conference on Wednesday in those days. And um, there was no 120 anywhere to publish book. And I will not beg and I will not ask anybody. So I said, God, if you want the book to be published, fine. If not, so that Sunday I finished in the church as I was walking out. 
Somebody came on Okada with a nylon bag. The cash was still available. And, and was waving us down. Then I uh, saw, uh, I came from Mena. Yes, you are welcome. What is it? I'm on my way out. Uh, six months ago, I came to Power Touch. I told God, if you give me a job, I'll give you the first salary, I'll give it to this man of God. And the job came. I said, oh, praise God. Have you collected the letter? He said, no, we have even started six months ago. Okay. So, and they now told us last week that they will sack us. So I said, so what's my business here now? That, uh, I now remember that I said the first salary. I will give it to man of God. So I brought the first salary because I don't want to be sacked. I pray for her. He said, let's go to the office. I said, no, no. There's no need going to the office. She brought it in the line. I put it in the car. Now, they counted the money. It was 120 exactly. God sent for it from uh, uh, Mena. I brought it to Jikoi. <laughs> Those days. So, when you are moving by the voice, you can't be stranded. Anywhere where you get stuck, watch it, whether God sent you. There are many things we sent ourselves. We claim God sent us. That's where the challenge is. I'll give you three more scriptures and show you how to hear his voice. You are coming out of that challenge. You are coming out of that scarcity. You are coming out of that lack. In the name of Jesus. The first scriptures, Luke 22, 35. And he said unto them, When I sent you without pause, and scrape shoes lack ye anything and they say nothing when you move by divine direction you don't lack any good thing so here it is your lack is a sign that you are disobeying God I repeat your lack is a sign that you are disobeying God can you imagine uh, what's his name now? Elijah in 1st King chapter 17 from verse 1 to 8. When the brook cherry dry up, can you imagine Elijah now commanding, oh you brook cherry, I bind you, I cast you, I bind you. <laughs> Lack of provision is a sign that location has changed. I bind you, I cast you, I bind you. God said, I have made provision for you with a widow. I have made provision for you with a widow. I know. Yeah. You see, God does not want us to worship the channel. He wants to remain the source. He doesn't want us to... Because people can idolize this channel. <laughs> so, that's why some relationship you are trying to cover, God says, I'll finish with it. There are relationships that are seasonal. It will be causing you more trouble. I only pray for you. Where God is true with you, may you not remain there. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yes. It's on seasonal basis. Please, the greatest asset of your life is his voice. Can I hear your amen? Oh, I don't I was preparing for evening service about 18 years ago, 19 years ago. And I was all praying, a single pastor, you know, earlier pastor. And then suddenly he said, your mother-in-law is dancing. I look dancing. I've never seen her. I was not praying for wife. I was no. I, I saw it as a distraction. The mother-in-law is there. Because I already have where my eyes was going by myself. Whether you are anointed, you are not, you are not anointed. You have your choices. I have where my eyes was going. Now, sir, where my eyes was going. They married the same month or next month after our own. It's 17 years. They are yet to have a child. Now, 
and God is going to give me such a ministry of deliverance and all that, and it will now look like wherever you lack, that's where you lack his voice. So better here. I believe my son's um, judge must be somewhere. When God told him and said, follow this man, when I met him, I was telling him one of them, I met him in one room. One room. He was still a lawyer. He was still, he has been called to bar. What Jehovah has done over the years is enormous. I met him in one room, sir. There was no light. I still remember that room. I remember my little sister just to bless the family. It's one of the privileged sons today who has given me prophetic seed in millions, not once. He had the voice. All the, some elders from somewhere, they gathered against him. He said, no, you can't go with this man. He said, look, if he's going to sink, let me sink with him. You better hear the voice. You see, people like to just, just, just be carnal about things. I will never preach into the pocket of any man in my life till I see Jesus. When I hear his voice, I mourn. When I hear his voice, I dive. I've been to him. From today, you will never know scarcity again in your life. You will never. You will never. You will never. Just, I will show you seven things very quickly how to hear this voice. How many scriptures have I given you now? Isaiah 48, verse 17 to 22. Oh, I love this one. This one, God has used it to lead me many times. I love this one. He said, Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit. Stretch forth your hand. Say, Oh Lord, teach me. Say, Baba, teach me. Say, Baba, teach me. I know you have gone to Harvard. I know you have gone to Lagos School of Business. Say, Baba, teach me. <laughs> I am the one. Which teacher thee to profit? Which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go? Did you hear that word? There is a way you should go. If you don't go that way, when you meet lack there, you are on your own. Look at it. Oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandment, then thy peace will have been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Hear this. Wherever you lack peace, you lack voice. Thy seed also will have been as the sun, and thy offering, boy, like the you know, gravel. His name should have been known. When you are struggling over your children, ask for the voice of God. Ask for the voice of God. Thy seed also has been as the sun of offering. Then verse 20, 20 verse 21. Okay. Look, go ye forth from Babylon. Flee from Chaldean. On this one, you are saying, Gogu, who should I marry? Gogu does not have answer. Just ask him from Babylon. Utter it to the end of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant. Look at verse 21. Ah, I love this one. Read with me. One, two, go. And they tested not when he led them through the desert. In the desert, you should be thirsty. But they tested not when he led them through the desert. It doesn't matter how, men, how dry the land will be. You will not know scarcity. And they tested not when he led them through the desert. I love this. This is what I love more about Isaiah 48. Look at it. He caused the water to flow out of the rock for them. No matter how stingy any man is, when you are being led, they will release to you. Look at it. He said water from the rock. If you don't know how hard it is, when you get outside there, look for a okuta rock, crack it, and bring out water. He cleaved the rock also. And what happened? And water. Gosha, can I pray for you that tonight God will take you to the realm of Goshe. 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 The pot of blessing. Goshe. Goshe. Sir, he led us here. He led us here, sir. He led us. He led us here. We couldn't have led ourselves here. Who does Mangi Badana? They couldn't. We couldn't. He led us here. It was already built and he bought it by himself. We didn't have what it takes. 
This is it. I'm going to be eight here. Sir, I never called no man on phone in my life. Lord has called me to ministry. Please join me. No, sir. No, sir. Everybody find their way before the Lord. If you see anybody making noise anywhere that he told me he organized, it's a lie. Let him come and say it. Everybody. Because I had his voice. Everybody. Sir, it was the voice of God that led you here. Is that true? It's God. It's God that led you here. It's God that led you. That voice is true. All this one, you are organizing things for yourself. The Bible said the way of a man is not in himself. All these organize, don't let them see us. Don't let you are not called. All this organizing something, organizing. You know, when the ministry was coming, and I you know, was like, okay, there's no need. Um, since they know power touch, we just call it power touch international. Uh, they throw it, it, every name was not going in CAC. Until I said, Father, what are you saying? He said, Did I tell you? What's the name then? Then he showed God's city. It, the, I went to search for it. There was no damn name anywhere. Things you organize by yourself can fall apart. But if Baba organize it for you, he stand as a rock of Gibraltar. The last scripture, Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6. This is the beauty of divine guidance. There is no one under the sound of my voice who will lack anymore. Look at it. Let's read together. It's sweet. The Lord is my leader. I shall not. You will not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. Beauty of divine guidance. He leadeth me beside still water. Cool. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I, there may be challenges. Through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. I know that my head with all. And my cup, what? Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. Secret of divine guidance for you to have prosperity in austerity. Number one, be genuinely born again. Born again is not a theory. It's a reality. Be genuinely born again. John chapter 10 Verse 2 to 5. I know my sheep. My sheep knows me. And my sheep hear my voice. If your spirit is born of God, God is a spirit, you will hear God. If your spirit is born of God, God is a spirit. You will hear God. You will hear God. You will hear. Your spirit will pick his voice. Sir, my biological father has gone to heaven. But I tell you, as I'm standing on this altar, if Baba Tayo is outside there now and speak, I can tell you Baba Tayo I know that voice because I've lived with that voice over the years. My mother lived far away. If my mother speaks outside now, I will tell you, Yeah, Tayo Yeah, Tayo you don't struggle to know the voice of your parent. You don't go to school to learn your mother tongue, do you? Except in this day that everybody is speaking for now. You know, but if your parents speak your native language, you pick it up naturally. Do you go to school to learn your mother tongue? No. If they speak it, you begin to speak it. You begin to speak it. Look, is all is this Hausa land that we came over that has spoiled the Yoruba of some of us. If you look, some of us can be speaking Yoruba. Anybody that claims that he knows Yoruba, he will just be looking. He won't hear. Because there is a deeper one. There is a. <laughs> one day, one of us here that I thought that, I mean, somebody that I read in the US did all that. And he just used one word that. And he came back and I said, ah, 
Where did you hear that? So we're looking for deep here. Oh, I got any idea? Praise God. You pick the language that you are born with naturally. I've told you before, we were in a nation and then Trump was coming. It was during the time of Trump. And this was a white nation and everywhere. One of the major nations. And then we lost our way, myself and my wife. So we find ourselves inside one uh, train or something. Because everybody was running and the security, American security was very something else. So we find ourselves inside this one, and we didn't know where the train was going. I just told my wife, hold on, where this one was in Okini. I just said, oh, look, it's like we are lost inside this thing now. And then somebody had, maybe one or two black down there, and said, Lenlo. I never knew him, I never saw him. We became like a family. I said, please, so what's wrong? You know, I was only talking to my wife in our native language. Uh, we don't know our way. We have lost our way. If God is your father, you will pick his voice in your spirit. You'll pick it. You'll pick it. Number two, get rid of carnality. First Corinthians chapter 2, 12 to 16. Get rid of carnality. First Corinthians 3, 1 to 9. Get rid of carnality. A carnal man cannot pick what God is saying. Get rid of carnality. Whether in the look, and it's bad now in our nation, there are things that can pop up on your computer, on your phone, on your all kind of corruption and decadence. It is bad in our, in our generation now. I pity the youth of my generation. Canality everywhere. Somebody is advertising fridge. Then he will put a naked lady beside fridge. What does fridge and freezer has to do with a naked lady? We should put her inside. And canality has entered everywhere. The voice cannot come through where canality reigns. God is a spirit. And those that must hear him must position themselves in the realm of the spirit. They must position themselves. Are you aware that every time your dog back in your house, that dog is communicating? You don't know the dog is speaking. But for you to hear that dog, you must be in the realm of dogs. To another dog, that dog that is barking is speaking. But to you, the dog is barking. Why you are not hearing what the dog is saying is because you are not in the dog realm. If you want to hear God, be in God's realm. John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. God is a spirit. And those that we hear him must position themselves in their spirit. Proverbs 20, 27. The spirit of a man is the candle of the law. Is the candle of the law. Look at it. If we write it in our time now, the spirit of the, the spirit of a man is the bulb of the law. Is the, the bulb. Your spirit, man. Hear this. You only have a body. You are not the body. Nobody has ever seen you. Your body only have a soul. You are not the soul. The real you is a spirit. And it is that real you that God wants to speak with. Spend time and develop your spirit. To be led by your five senses, you will make a lot of mistakes. If you judge things on the natural, you will make lorry load of mistakes. Lorry load. Lorry load. It's time we get rid of carnality. When you are spiritual, you won't gossip. They can't bring anybody matter up and then you begin to contribute. Cha, 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 cha. No, not you. Your spirit man will react. You are too above that. You can't think junk thought. Anything fly through your thought, you will call the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. When you get rid of carnality, you can't lie and be stable. Your spirit man will react. Your conscience will be actively alive. Picking any signal from anywhere. You can't lie as a child of God. If you mistakenly put extra or exaggerate, 
Something will be telling you, you lie, you lie, you lie, you lie. I don't know what's experiencing. If you are not experiencing it, you need to rededicate your life. They will be telling you, you lie, you lie, you lie. How do I know I'm operating carnally? Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. It's time. You can't position yourself in the spirit and watch anything on your phone. Something will censor you. Sir, when you are a spiritual man, you can't watch everything. You can't watch anything. You are censored. You are caged. You are told what to do. <laughs> Sir, yes, yeah, so we have liberty. But that liberty, there is a law. <laughs> Hello, I don't, you know, this, uh, this, it's not legalism. I don't know how to explain it to you. Romans 8, from verse 1. Whoever is in the Christ, you know, we are free from condemnation. The law of the spirit of life has set us free from the law of sin and death. Yes, we are free from the law of sin and death, but we have entered the law of the spirit. The freedom from one law is, uh, the, is the bandage of another law. Excuse me, sir. If you leave Nigeria today and you get to Itro, and then, or U.S., my daughter just got uh, U.S., uh, something. Now. When you get to U.S. or get to uh, Itro in U.K., you are free from the law of Nigeria. But can I tell you and shock you, you have entered another law. Oh, 21 day lay. <laughs> Some of you that ah, you have entered. You know my my friend, you know the drama man. You know <laughs> he got there. He went to go and uh, he drove anyhow. He over speed. He said he got to his hand. He brought paper to his hand. He said don't mind them. Can he drive me? Until they begin to tell me, I say all right. Only one ballet para. <laughs> they told my friend. He said ah, can he go to jail? By the time he will contact lawyer, they were talking of ten thousand pounds. Then he called me and said, Pastor Egbadua, who oh, oh, can overspeed new? <laughs> you know all this overspeed that we do here and you jump traffic here and there? Ah, it's a serious something over there. <laughs> My friend called me and said, Pastor, please pray, oh, pray, 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 pray. I do a thing wherever you. He, when they gave him the paper, he just said, don't mind them. He's not overspeeding. <laughs> he thought like in our village. That they will go and call your father and say, please, I'm happy, no. Let him go. They have taken his camera. They took him to court. Only God intervened for him. Now my friend is very gentle. <laughs> when you escape law here, you have entered another law. You have entered what? Another law. Please, let's get rid of carnality so that we can pick the voice of the master. Number three, being led by inner witness, inner knowing, inner knowing. You know that you know. This one, I love it so much, but I don't have time for it. Romans 8, 14 and 16. For as many as are led by the spirit of the law, they are the sons of God. You got to a point, you just know that this is what God is saying. It's very superior. Please, ushers, help us to check people. No distraction, please. Proverbs 20, 27. Romans 9, 1. When you are being led by the inner witness, when you are being led by inner witness, look at the, I want you to take note of this, so that I can help you with this inner witness. Your conscience will not doubt it. I said the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. My conscience bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. My mother said, two people cannot forfeit lies. If the person you are lying to does not know, you that you are lying. What did they say? Sir, is there anybody lying that doesn't know he's lying? Eh? He said, I don't even know. I don't know that I was lying. That's a father of all liars. 
he must be the second in command of the devil. Because, you know, so nobody that is lying that does not know is lying. You know, so please check your conscience. Well, what you are saying. The Holy Spirit also led us by the word of God, through the word of God. Psalm 29, verse 1 to 8, just write it down. Then there is voice, the leading of the Spirit. Romans 8, 18. Romans 8, 14. Then there is a check in your spirit, a constraint. Acts 16, 6. Acts 16, 6. There are times I wanted to take some decision or go somewhere, you just see that restraint. Please take note of this. How will you be stepping on a vehicle that will crash and nothing strike in your spirit? They call this one check. You want to write that check and it's a 419. Something restrain you. Danger, 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 danger. It's also the ministry of the Holy Spirit. That man is coming around. You wanted to ask for your hand in marriage. And he, every time he come around, that's when he dread like a pastor. He dread like a pastor and bring sawama. Then sawama cover your face. Something should strike. Danger, 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 danger. There are people that are they foresight like this. I know. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. They won't even have opportunity to sit down. Because I know there is no road there. You'll be hearing danger. Danger. It's like traffic light. It's like traffic light. Anyway, we will unbundle this all through the month. I think this is what God is leading us to this month. Acts 16, 6. And his companion, they travel throughout. Can you imagine? God said they should not preach somewhere. That it look right does not make it right with the spirit. Check in your spirit. Check in your spirit. Check in your spirit. Check in your spirit. And please, every parent, bring up your children in this way. Hear this. There is none of my siblings that are led to on how to um, have their spouse and all that. I don't have time. Everything everybody wants to hear, they hear it on the altar. Many of them have been married 10 years, 11 years. They have never given me a problem. You know what? They heard from God. They heard from God. Uh, last one is getting married soon right now. By God's grace, we'll be letting you know. I mean, I mean, there, there is no need worrying. I mean, this guy, she could pick anything. I said, no, 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 not this. I said, no, no, no. No. Woman thing. I was saying, I beg, let me sleep. Oh, the little time I have to sleep. Let me see. Everything I want to teach, I've taught it. Which is, which is, go oh, Jimmy. Number next, by quickenings. By quickenings. The Holy Spirit can quicken you. Here it is. Let me, let me just give you an example of this one. The day, maybe you are not, you couldn't sleep, and the Spirit is quickening you. You discover that you have energy to pray, and the Spirit is telling you to pray. Please pray, oh. What normally follow that disobedience is dangerous, so oh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please pray. You even close your eyes. You're supposed to be tired, but you are not tired. And the Spirit say pray. The Spirit has quickened you. Romans 8, 27. He has quickened you so that you can be able to, when you see the quickening of it, it's like when Spirit will come upon something. And it will become active. Take advantage of that. Uh, three more. Let's go to dreams. Dreams. They are the language of the spirit. Principally, God leads us by the Holy Ghost. But these are seven ways the Holy Ghost will do it for you. That I've given you. Joel chapter 2 verse 28. I will pour out my spirit. And they shall dream dreams. Now, I'm talking of prophetic dream. Not that you see angel riding bicycle in the air with bucket of ice cream. That's, no, prophetic dream. When you wake up, you yourself will know this is a dream from the Lord. I hope your TV is seen very well. 
This one that I have here is closing eyes and opening it. Job chapter 7, verse 14. Job 7, 14. And Job 33, from verse 14. Now, I thought about dreaming in, in prayer midnight, or what do they call it now? What is it? How many of you, how many of you were there? I saw the testimony of one of my daughters. They sent it to me of written. How many of you were partaker of that night of dreams? Oh, wonderful. The Lord bless you. So, we'll still look at it in the course of the man. Please watch your dream. There were two Joseph in the Bible. Joseph, uh, what is it? Joseph, Jacob, and Joseph, the um, father of Jesus. Both of them were led by the dream. You know, when all these things begin to come from U.S. and they were talking about faith and all that, some of us that came from the school of faith, they begin to talk less on our dreams. I said, don't mind dream. God does not lead through them. Let me tell you, one of the effective ways of the last day is dreams. Is what? Be mindful of your dream. God wants to lead you through your dream. You know why? Many of us are too busy during the day. God cannot get our attention. But when you are asleep, you are unconscious. So God can be able to influence your life. And then visions. Visions. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, Joel 2, 28. And then finally, prophecies. Prophecies. Those people from the presidency, that the, that the, guy, the, the guy that came with his wife yesterday, um, they were riding on the wings of the prophecy. I still have the text of the man here. Oh, the word was different. And that's why you don't take people's testimony and go and apply it. Mm -mm. What has the spirit say? So, I give to you tonight the secret of prosperity and austerity is divine direction. Access to his voice. You can never lack if you have it. Stand to your feet. Let me give you the last scripture for that prophecy. Have I given you scripture for prophecy? Acts chapter 21 verse 11. Acts 21, 11. And when he was come unto us, he took Paul's garden and bound his own hand and feet and said, Thus said the Holy Ghost, so said the Jew at Jerusalem bind the man that honed this garden and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentile. Hear this. Please. When you hear a genuine prophet, don't despise his instruction. Do you know that Paul despised this instruction? And that was how he went to that journey that he said he should not go. And he never saw outside again. He spent the rest of his life in prison. But I need to clear the air here because many are gullible in our days. One prophet told one man, all eyes are on your wife. Come and hide your wife in the jaws. And the prophet is in jaws. The outcome of that hiding is that after six months, the wife was pregnant. With prophecy, also check in your spirit. You have the spirit of God. But this is the point. Don't despise genuine speaking of God. Don't despise genuine speaking of God. Don't despise genuine speaking of God. Especially if you know the source, the authenticity of that individual. And if you know he stand by the world, and then whatever you hear, compare it with the world. But many are proud in our generation. Paul was led by the anointing, and he was captured. The prophet bind the hand, 
buying the land. I said, the owner of this thing, this is what they will do to you. I said, no way. I'm not, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> okay. He was in prison till he died. All the other books, he wrote it in prison. Was that the will of God? No, sir. But why did God use the epistle? Wherever you put yourself, all things work together for good. God can save you. If you go and get married to anybody and you don't care, and then you divorce, God will not reject you. He will still use you. Go and read about Catherine Kuma. How she forced her birth to marry a wrong person. That was her greatest decision. Regret. You will not regret in your life. You will not regret in your destiny. Lift your hands soon. Are you blessed tonight? No. Are you lifting your hand for praise or for bless? Put your hands down first. <laughs> are you blessed tonight? If you are blessed, can you lift your hands to him and just bless his holy name? Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Ah, divine direction. Divine leading. Divine direction. Divine leading. Divine direction. Just bless him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 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 Bless the Lord. Now pray in the Holy Ghost now. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. Pray in the Spirit. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I'll be praying for everyone that you are about to take a major decision of your life and you don't want to make a mistake. I'll be praying for you. I don't know whether medically after the altar call or after the communion. You don't want to make a mistake. Number two, I'll be praying for everyone that you are in a state of dilemma whether to do this. It looks like whichever option you take, there is danger. God is going to be leading you. His voice is so simple. It may not be spe spectacular, but it will be supernatural. Sometimes we look for spectacular. Angel just come down. Could he? Could he? God, I've discovered God is so simple. The day he raised a, 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 a dead child here, nobody was in there. God just raised the child by himself. God is very simple. So I'll be praying for people like that because you will not make mistake in the name of Jesus. Now, everyone under the sound of my voice, you are in need to hand over your life to Jesus and become a child of God today. I want to lead you to Christ and pray for you right now. Wherever you are, lift up your right hand above your head and let me pray for you. This is, look, hear this. This is the first key. This is the first key. Until you are saved, you don't have access to his voice. So everyone that wants to be saved tonight, you want to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Now step forward to the altar and come and let me pray for you. Jesus is calling 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 you. I want to be saved tonight. I want to make Jesus Christ the Lord of my life. Jesus is calling you. No more scarcity. No more lack around your life, around your house, around your family. No more scarcity. I want to have access to his voice. I want to make Jesus Christ the Lord of my life. Number two call, everyone that wants to rededicate his or her life to Christ. I've been in the Lord before, but I can't deceive myself. I need to repent. I need to rededicate my life to Jesus Christ. I've been kind of about things. Wherever you are, step forward to the altar too. And let me pray for you tonight. And God is going to show you mercy. The rest of us, you can stretch forth your hands. I decree over every hand that is stretched forward. That in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. That the grace of God rests upon your hands. In the name of Jesus. Lack and want shall be far from you. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we we'll pray. Give a clap offering to Jesus and take your seat. Pick up your offering, your seed, your sacrifice, and let's honor the Lord tonight. I decree and declare over this communion table tonight that the grace of God rests upon this table in the name of Jesus. 
everyone that will be partaker of this table, your spiritual ears and sight shall be opened up. You will hear God loud and clear. And you will be out of this scarcity. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Now prepare your offering. One of the things you must know if you are going to step out of this scarcity is that this is the time to increase your seed. This is the time to what? This is the time to what? It is in the time of farming that you double up your seed. I'm telling you the gospel truth. This is the time to increase your seed. It's just the basic truth. The law of abundance. That's the way it works. Prepare that seed right now. Lord, we decree over the seed, the tithe and everything everyone has brought. Let the rain of heaven rest upon it. Apples multiply back to every giver. No and end in poverty. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now those of you in the front, lay your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. Remove my names from the book of death. Write my names in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. I pray for you today that the Lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness, establish you in salvation, make all things to be well with you and well for you in the name of Jesus. From tonight, let the Lord show you mercy. His voice come true to you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Please this way. Bread of life is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to lay upon his promise. Just to know the saints the Lord.
not been served communion, can you shout hallelujah? Okay, shall we stand? Just three prayer points tonight. The first one is, Lord, open my spiritual eyes. Open my spiritual ear. That's the first prayer. Are you ready? Do you want to pray it? Is that important to you? It's okay, don't worry. Let's pray for money. Just since you don't need it. I'm not hearing your response. <laughs> Even if you have money and you don't have eyes, you can put that money. Okay, it's... So lift up your voice. Say, my father, open my eyes. Open my spiritual ears. Please talk to the Lord. Open my eyes. Open my spiritual ears. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Those people that I mentioned their case, you can step forward to the altar. I want to pray for you. The second prayer point is that, Lord, show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. That's the second prayer. Hear this. Don't have your idol made up. Oh. Lord, show me what to do to prosper in these hard times. Show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. That's the second prayer. Everybody pray it right now. I'm going to pray. Show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. Show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. Show me. Show me how to move. Show me what to do. Show me what to do to prosper. In this hard time, Show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. Show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. Show me what to do. Show me what to do to prosper in this hard time. Show me what to do. Lord, what next to do? What next to do? What next to do? Is somebody praying? What next to do? What are you saying? What are you saying? The next phase of my life. The next level of my life. Let me hear you clearly. I don't want to do what everybody is doing. I don't want to do what everybody is doing. Show me what to do. Show me what to do. Where will I make my strongest contribution? Lord, show me what to do. Lord, show me what to do. Riato Shadado Shada. Shali Kapo Syria. Riato Shada. Esheketosia. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Finally, what do you want from the Lord for these three days? Those of you in the front, I pray for you right now. As the Lord has led me to pray for you. Receive divine intervention. Receive divine intervention. And receive divine intervention. You shall not be stranded. You shall not be stranded. You shall not be stranded. Thank you, Father. You can return. Everybody pray right now, and then I'll pray for us. Why are you fasting for these three days? What do you want? God is speaking. 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 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Stretch forth your hands. Now, in the name that is above every other name, let your spiritual sight open up. Let your spiritual ears open up. That negative dream that always come at the beginning of the month and spoil the month for you. In the name of Jesus, we set it on fire. We set it on fire. We set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, everyone in your house shall be hearing God clearly. In the name of Jesus, you will not make another wrong mistake. You will not take another wrong step. The Lord lead and direct you. 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 This month of March, you shall march forward. You shall go forward. You shall go ahead in life. You shall not be stranded. All your money held down is here by release. Your favor is here by release. Your blessing is here by release. Your increase is here by release. Be blessed. Every darkness around you, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. That daughter of Zion, no access to U.S. for years, but the voice of the Lord came. The door of U.S. is open for you. Uh, as if it was his father that owned the uh, embassy. No, but God has spoken. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, every embargo in any area of your life, this month, the embargo is lifted. The embargo is lifted. The embargo is lifted. That family said, no. This is our firstborn. We will not flush our baby. We will not flush our baby. Man of God will believe God is God. The hand of God is on you. Even though man of God know that with every indices, go and flush this thing. But God said, no way. Six weeks, six days. Alive, not dead. In that name that is above every other name, every conclusion that is negative over your matter, over your family, let Jesus overturn tonight. 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 Inside one room, no light, nothing. But he said, no, God has told me to follow this man. They say, ah, you will suffer many challenges. But today, it has become a testimony. I decree and declare, people that are making jest of the voice of God in your life, because they have not seen evidence here. From tonight, God will show them the evidence. God will show them the result. God will show them the evidence of your obedience. Your obedience will not count for nothing. Your obedience will have something to show for him. He said, at the end, he shall speak. He said, if you look tarry, wait for it. For at the end, he shall speak. I decree and declare from today, your vision will begin to speak. Your vision will begin to speak. He shall begin to speak. He shall begin to speak. Thank you, Father. From the first day, God has answered your prayer. From the first day, God has answered your prayer. Your life will never be the same again. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Today is your first time. Step forward to the altar. Uh, tomorrow, uh, 12 midnight now, we meet. God is saying something. And then tomorrow morning is the second day of the morning due for the uh, new man. Tomorrow evening, 5.30, uh, no heavenly Jerusalem altar. We all meet in the church. Uh, sorry for the time today is to lay the foundation. From tomorrow, it will be sharp. Then on Sunday in the morning, uh, at the headquarters, three major services, and it's going to be heavy like we have never seen it before. I see the Lord going with you. I see the Lord blessing you. I see the Lord increasing you. I see the Lord moving you forward. Clear dream in the name of Jesus. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2024. My year of new era, my year of new dawn, my year of higher dimension. 
These are my portions. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell 12 people that Lord has done my home. See you at 12 midnight. See you in the morning. And see you tomorrow evening. You are all welcome to church. And God bless you. This is God City International Church. The place of the